Well, November 1st, we got our snow, first snow of the year. It's heavy, and unfortunately, I just got home from work, and uh, I got some work to do, guys. It, uh, the way the snow looks like it crumpled our summer coop, or the, the front coop, where in that, you know, the coop we keep, we call the front coop. It's, um, it's a coop that we originally put together as a good summer area for the chickens, uh, but what we've turned it into this last little while, we enclosed it, and uh, we've been using it for our ducks and our older chickens that we didn't really want to uh, house with the other chickens. So anyway, I gotta go look and see what I have to do to maybe save this building because even to replace it, it's not cheap now because everybody knows everything's gone up so much. So, because this is a, I forget how long this building is. It's either, I call it a building, but it's pipes and chicken wire and tarps and, uh, but it's got to be 24 to 30 feet long. Anyway, I got to go see what's, what can be done here. Yeah, it's quite a mangled mess. Wow, oh, the pipes are bent, bent. the uh, packing snow. That's the problem is I don't know if I can get this out to get this to lift. So may not be able to do anything until it uh, warms up the end of the week. But it's going to be uh, definitely going to be a lot weaker. It's just bent pretty good. So it looks like the chickens can still get in and out but stuff is super heavy all right guys so Sydney and I uh, got the snow off um, it's, there was quite a bit of weight there um, we did manage to kind of prop the building up there's considerable amount of damage in there the pipes are bent pretty bad they're not meant to carry that weight um, what I'm hoping I'm gonna do some quick measurements and I'm gonna run to the hardware store before it closes and try to get some uh, two by fours to prop up the roof line although it's broken I think in two spots along the top ridge so if I can get it to at least take some form of shape tonight with the support and then this weekend I'll try to uh, reinforce it a bit more but for now I just want to get this peaked back up in case we get more snow we're not really expecting any more but this this kind of weather in this area it's it's lake effect so you, they don't really always have an advance uh, a good advance notice of it sometimes we get a lot more than we're expecting uh, it just kind of picks it up off the water and dumps it so I'm gonna get there and take some measurements if I get about 10 2 by 4s for now, 10 8 foot 2 by 4s I can probably uh, reinforce it to the point where it's not going to fall down on us. All right, I got to get the hardware store. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting this 2x4 in a way that 
that basically the pipe will sit on top there and it'll wedge it up and I'm just nipping these corners off because I don't want them to push up against the tarp so I'm putting a handful of these in there to support that main uh, pipe that goes across the top it's broken from what I can see in two places so uh, what I'm going to do after I get enough of those supports going straight up and down is I'm going to take these other 2x4s and I'm going to cut them to go in between and screw them together so that we have the support this way as well. Basically, hopefully just get another season or two out of this. Uh, $100 with a pressure treated lumber. I really thought I was done buying lumber for the year, but apparently not. But uh, get those in, even for the $100, it's probably far better than, I'm not even sure what this uh, goes for now. I'm, for some reason in my head, I'm thinking it's up around 1200 bucks, but maybe I'm wrong. So if I can save it and continue to use it for a couple more years by reinforcing it, that's still worth the money. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm not, uh, I've got a ballpark measurement. I'm not being too fussy with my overall height cut. I, I know what it should be, but I also realize that this, this, these two by fours are just sitting on the ground. So they're going to sink a little bit. And when that happens, uh, when they sink enough, what I'll do is I'll take a few smaller pieces of two by four and I'll put feet on the bottom of these. Um, or if I can get my hands on a few um, small paving stones type of deal, I'll use those. So this is one of these spots where it's totally broken. So I'm going to stick this guy, which actually seems short here because this one must be sitting a little higher. But uh, basically, I'm going to put it, or maybe I'll switch those two. Let's see if I can get this one to get out some of that straw under it from under it. There we go. Okay. All right, and then that one's right there. So since that one's broke on that joint, I'm gonna put a two by four between these, hold them tight together, and continue to attach them all the way down. I'm gonna put another two by four right here, because this one's also broken. And then I think, yeah, I think that might work if I get the one in here, because the ends look okay. So I might just be able to support these Worst case scenario, I can come back this weekend and reinforce the ends a bit. But I believe that's going to buy us some time with this. Is it even bent? Even the sides have uh, taken a beating and they're bent as well. Looks like this one uh, very close to being broken. So, yeah, it's only do so much before it's going to be time to build a whole new coop. So... This was something we put in place because no permits required, et cetera, et cetera. You get a nice big space, but yeah, only good for so long. All right, so I'm gonna get out of these two by fours cut. Okay guys, the chicken coop, the summer coop, because obviously it's not a good winter coop, but it, it does provide them enough shelter. Uh, we close it in enough that they're not getting a strong wind where we are here or anything like that so uh and chickens do better in cold than they do in heat so um anyway so this structure it should live to see another year here uh, what i've done is i've reinforced it all as you guys saw with pressure treated two by fours so it's got something to hold the weight now and I guess an added bonus, if you if I want to look at it that way, is I've added a whole bunch of roosting here. <laughs> so there's a spot here, another one over there, and a whole bunch of room on these two by fours for those that are eager enough to get high. Um, yeah, so hopefully this will do the trick. Uh, it was quite quite devastating to come home and see that. Cindy actually sent sent me a message today with a picture of what happened, and I thought. Oh, no, not something else right now. Um, so anyway, it's kind of repaired, sort of. Um, 
until next time anyway uh guys i'm gonna get back to what i'm supposed to be doing when i got home today which is cleaning cages and and uh getting my normal chores done uh so i'm gonna go and do that so i can get showered and spend some time with the family and have dinner and all the stuff before bed which isn't too far away so uh do me a favor guys if you don't mind share the video with your friends if you if you enjoy seeing tragedy <laughs> <laughs> so to speak uh, but like share subscribe if you will uh, we always enjoy having you guys stop by so see you next time